this demonstration illustrates the procedure to create an backup appliance 5330 checkpoint and rolling to an existing checkpoint through the appliance web console. You can use checkpoints to save a snapshot of the current state of the appliance and then use it to restore your appliance from that point in case of a future failure. The following components of the appliance will be included in the checkpoint. The appliance operating system, the appliance software, the net backup software, the network configuration, and any previously applied software updates. Note that the backup data stored on the appliance is not included in the checkpoint. There are three types of checkpoints. The first type is a pre-upgrade checkpoint which is created before a software upgrade is performed. The second type is a post-upgrade checkpoint which is created after you have upgraded your appliance to a newer software version. You may use this checkpoint if you have a need to roll back your appliance to correct a failure. The last type of checkpoint is a user-directed checkpoint which is created by the appliance administrator. You can create this type of checkpoint at any time. However, only one user-directed checkpoint can exist at a given time. If a user-directed checkpoint already exists and you create a new checkpoint, the new checkpoint overrides the existing checkpoint. To create a new user-directed checkpoint from the appliance web console, open a supported web browser and type the appliance IP address in the browser address bar. Log on to the appliance using admin user credentials. Then click on the Manage tab, followed by the Appliance Restore sub-tab. Under the Appliance Restore sub-tab, select the option to create Appliance Checkpoint. If any checkpoints already exist, those checkpoints appear on this page. In addition, if a user-directed checkpoint already exists, the new checkpoint will replace the old checkpoint. Enter a description in the Create Appliance Checkpoint description field at the bottom of the page. This description is a way by which you can identify the new checkpoint. Click Validate. When you click the Validate button, you initiate a validation process that ensures the server is running and in a state to create a new checkpoint. A window appears and shows a validation check is in progress. A status message appears on the page letting you know whether the checkpoint validation is complete and successful. If the validation is successful and you want to proceed, click Create to start creating an appliance checkpoint. At this stage, the Create Appliance Checkpoint pop-up appears. If no checkpoint currently exists and you want to proceed, click Yes. If a user-directed checkpoint already exists and you want to override that checkpoint, click Yes. Otherwise, click No. Note that once you begin the checkpoint creation process, you cannot perform any other functions on the Net Backup Appliance Web Console until the operation completes. The Create Appliance Checkpoint page refreshes To see more information on the status of the checkpoint creation progress, click the details link. After the checkpoint creation completes, the Create Appliance Checkpoint page 
displays a status summary that provides information such as host name or IP address of the appliance, current net backup and appliance software versions installed, progress of the checkpoint creation, status of the checkpoint and the details of the checkpoint. Click finish to complete the procedure and return to the appliance restore page. Let's now talk about the procedure to roll back a net backup appliance 5330 from an available checkpoint. The appliance rollback ability enables you to address any misconfiguration or system failure issues that may have occurred post the creation of a checkpoint. You can roll back your appliance to an existing restore checkpoint using the net backup appliance web console or the net backup appliance shell menu or clish. To do a rollback from an available appliance restore checkpoint from the net backup appliance web console, log on to the appliance using admin user credentials. Then click on the Manage tab, followed by the Appliance Restore sub tab. Under the Appliance Restore sub tab, select Appliance Rollback. If no checkpoints exist, a message stating that no checkpoints exist appears on the page. If a checkpoint or checkpoints already exist, they are shown on this page. At most, there can be three checkpoints. A pre-upgrade checkpoint, a post-upgrade checkpoint, and a user-directed checkpoint. Select an available checkpoint from the Select an Appliance checkpoint to roll back the appliance to a specific checkpoint list. Also determine if you want to restart the appliance automatically after the rollback operation completes. If you do, Check the Restart Appliance Automatically After Rollback checkbox. After selecting the relevant options, click Preview. At this stage, the Rollback Appliance page updates and shows the components that are rolled back during the operation. The components that are rolled back include the appliance operating system, the appliance software, which includes the net backup software as well, any previously applied software updates, and the network configuration. Since backup data is not captured in the appliance checkpoint, it is not impacted by the appliance rollback. Click Validate to begin the checkpoint validation process. The validation check ensures that the appliance is up and running and is ready to start the rollback process. A pop-up window now appears that shows the progress of the validation process. After the validation completes, a message showing the result of this validation appears on the Appliance Restore page. If the validation is successful, click Start to roll back to the selected checkpoint. Note that during the rollback process, all appliance functions are suspended. The Rollback Appliance pop-up appears. This pop-up informs you that once you start the rollback process, it is irreversible. Click Yes to proceed with the rollback operation. Alternately, click No to stop the rollback process. The Rollback Appliance status page appears so you can monitor the success of the rollback operation for the appliance. You may click on the details link to view details of the appliance rollback process. After the rollback operation completes, the compute appliance must be restarted. If you choose to automatically restart the appliance after the rollback completes, a restart in progress pop-up appears. The contents of that pop-up remind you 
that the network was reset and connectivity was lost during the reset process. Alternately, if you did not choose to automatically restart the appliance after the rollback completes, a restart now window appears. This window prompts you to restart the appliance. Click OK to restart the appliance to complete the appliance rollback operation.